a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Tampa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Oh, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, if your listeners don't get the gold report, they're, uh, they're missing out. I mean, you're... With your gold report, you just print in money. I love it. Uh, you're my best dad out there, Al. Let's go to uh, Jeff in New Jersey. Hey, Jeff, what's going on? Great. Uh, hey, listen, I was calling to thank you. Uh, a few weeks ago, you were prompting on your show to fill out that uh, $10,000 uh, grant. Yes. So I filled it out, and um, just a couple days ago, I found $1,000 in my business checking account. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yeah. And I, I owe it to you, because it, uh, if it wasn't for your prompting, I, I would have just assumed, you know, no way I would have gotten anything. So I, I wanted to thank you. No, we appreciate you growling a problem with us yet. Now. Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make a great week, folks. We're kicking into the 4th of July. You're going to love it. Don't take anything personal. Your truth is personal to you. Your own opinions and point of view reflect your own agreements and are personal to you. It's no one's truth but yours. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 200, Nasdaq's up a buck 30, S&P's up four and a half, gold contract up a dollar 60, trade at 17.79 an ounce. We got silver up 12 cents, 26 dollars 21 cents an ounce. Light sweet crew taking a little hit out here today. Down $1.21, $72.84 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note, up 12 ticks, trading 132.07. The 30-year up a full point, plus 8 ticks at 160. Notes and bonds, folks, they're just relentless. Bottom line is that they pulled back uh, last Friday. Had a little volume in the pullback, but guess what? They were going into, they were going into their strength, then they just snap right back, and you get the 10-year um, yielding 1.48. King dollar. King dollar right now is up 26 ticks, trading 91.877. The euro is at 119. The yen is out, out here trading at 110 and a half. And the British pound is at 138 to 1 US dollar. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Dave Mazda, as we do each and every other week. Bottom line, folks, if you haven't test driven any of the direction products yet, great products. Dave comes out with products. He's, he's been busy. There's no doubt about it. You come over to our website at TFNN, you'll see that direction banner. You just hit that banner. Dave Mazda, you just, I, I, you've been busy, man. That's the real bottom line. There's no, there's no doubt about that, man. And you can see, um, you know, we've talked about this before, but it, it's really intriguing that the whole world is kind of like coming into the whole ETF space. I mean, everything has changed pretty dramatically, hasn't it? Yeah, no, exactly right. What, what's really interesting is we know that there's been uh, ETF issuers uh, like Direction uh, creating ETFs for years, but now we're actually seeing traditional mutual fund companies enter the space. Some companies are converting mutual funds to ETFs. Others are just launching for the first time as people embrace the vehicle. And one of the reasons the vehicle has grown so much, particularly among retail investors, is that you pay the same price as an institutional investor, whether you're buying one share, a million shares, or anything in between. You also have the benefit, generally low cost when, when, well, when doing so. Yes. And one of the real reasons is the tax efficiency. We've talked a bit about this before. ETFs have this unique mechanism to help mitigate the potential for uh, taxes to eat away at investment returns through what's called the creation redemption process. That's been one of the real drivers, in addition to the fact that ETFs are just really flexible from a trading perspective compared to buying a mutual fund just at the end of the end of the day. You know, it's amazing, uh, Dave and folks, it's amazing that it actually took this long because as Dave just says, the tax implications alone are the biggest deal because I remember so many times that you can get trapped sometimes in a mutual fund that the mutual fund itself basically lost money, but you have to pay taxes at the end of the year because it depends where you got in, right, which, which is pretty amazing. Uh, yeah, that, that's exactly right. So one of the things that uh, we say is ETFs externalized cost, whereas mutual funds internalized cost. And what's really interesting, your point about 
seeing, you know, what's worse than being in a down market, underperforming, and then you have to pay tax on top of it. What's, of course, really interesting here is that you think about the fact that we've been on this bull run, essentially, since the global financial crisis. Certainly yes. been some hiccups. But in, even in the you know, even if we look back to March of last year and the rally we've seen since then, um, there hasn't been a lot of opportunity for what's called tax loss harvesting if I'm actively managing a mutual fund. So a lot of them are actually sitting on gains, uh, which, is, which they have the potential to have to continue to pay out in subsequent years. ETFs, less of a concern there. And you have the ability to kind of really pick and choose your spots and build that full portfolio on your, uh, on your own. And what I mean by that is you can get broad-based exposure. You can use leverage and inverse products like direction offers to take advantage of more tactical trading opportunities or thematic products like our Moonshot ETFs and everything in between. So there's just way more options coming to market with ETFs than you've seen with mutual funds. Yeah, there's no doubt. Let, let's talk about a couple of new products that you have. You know, we talked about this one before, but this one to me is really intriguing particularly, Dave, because I, I just had to book some flights to Boston, okay? And bottom line, folks, okay, you know, Florida in the summer, most times people aren't going to Florida in the summer. Well, I was two weeks ahead of time, and I still had to pay 700 bucks a ticket, Tampa to Boston, okay? So it's like the airlines, they know what they're doing, man. There, there's more demand than there is supply. So what we're going to talk about here, folks, is as you go over to the direction, you're going to see right in the front page, Dave just come up with a, a daily... Uh, travel and vacation bull. Now, talk to us about this, because this is really cool. You know, I know I had looked at this, Dave, and then I'm looking at my prices, and I'm saying, and it didn't matter what deal I, I did. I tried to go into Boston. I tried to go into Providence. The bottom line is that JetBlue into Logan is still going to be 750 bucks. you know? Yeah. No, you're absolutely right. So you can set aside whether it's the right or wrong thing to do. It's a supply and demand uh, issue. Yes. What we know is that right. we many people have been stuck at home, uh, either because of quarantine or not being comfortable doing so. You know, if you look at superimpose a chart of COVID cases and vaccinations, one's going down, one's going up. Let's hope that continues. But in the near term here, there's such pent up demand for people to go uh, either see their family or go on vacation. So we launched OOTO, stands for uh, essentially a play on out of the office as the ticker. It gives you exposure to companies uh, like airlines, hotel operators, also kind of lar larger entertainment companies in this space, like a Walt Disney company. Also names like Vail Resorts in there, thinking about uh, the winter and people wanting to go skiing and things of that nature. So really interesting basket, all at the forefront of a lot of these names that were held back. And if we continue to see economic reopening, uh, which of course the U.S., you know, going from kind of worst to first in kind of how we're handling COVID yes. now uh, is a real great opportunity for traders to, to, to look at amplifying their bull side. And what Dave just said, from worst to, first, worst to first, folks, okay, you saw the journal this morning, we're number one that everyone wants to be in. Now, and when, when we're talking about OOTO, which is so cool, Dave, is that you got Airbnb in there, you got Trip.com in there from China, uh, you got Hilton in there. I mean, you got some really, it's it spread out really nice, man. That's, that's the real bottom line. Yeah, thank you. It's a great basket, again, for that whole kind of travel and vacation trade, not just airlines or hotels. Absolutely. Well, listen, man, you have a great one. Have a great July 4th. We look forward to speaking in two weeks from today, Dave. Sounds good. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Okay, man, have a great one. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Hey there, I'm Andy Arbertine with Tiger Precious Metals and Stones. Whether you're looking to buy and sell precious metals or trying to find the perfect diamond ring, I'm here to help. I have over 15 years of experience with diamonds and precious metals. You can call me directly at 727-329-8245 and I will personally answer any questions you have and help you find exactly what you're looking for. I will be your personal concierge in the metal and stone business. Give me a call today, 727-329-8245. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Folks, uh, Dow. Dow just is down a buck uh, 92. You get the Nasdaq up 121, S&P's up five. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve does an outstanding show here every trading day, 1 to 2 Eastern Standard Time. Also, has a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, very easy to get the newsletter, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You go into newsletters, you're going to see Mastering Probability right on the right-hand side. You just hit subscribe. You can get Mastering Probability. For one month, for $149. You can get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199, or 22%. You can get it for one year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593, or 33%. They all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you want a great newsletter, folks, very easy to do. Come over to our website at TFNN. You hit newsletters. You're going to hit the Mastering Probability right on that right-hand side. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Well, I just have one question, and that's uh, what time does the tailgate party start tonight? I, there, there's no doubt, man. It's going to start as soon as we get off the air. Uh, <laughs> Perfect. You know, and you know what's amazing, man? It's amazing. It's going to be Montreal, too. I mean, I was watching that whole series, too. And, you yeah, know, I mean, team. I'm so happy for them. It's like it's going to be it's going to be a great series, man. Yeah. Abs yeah, absolutely. It's, it's, it's been nice uh, the last couple of weeks. I've enjoyed. I don't know if you've caught any of the Olympic trials. You know, uh, I have. I've been watching all the hockey, and then I get... No, but I haven't. But I got to get on those. I know that's yeah, yeah. yeah. Great. I think they might be over. I, I, I oh, don't is know that what? Because sure. you know what happens? Because because hockey wasn't on the last few nights. I was looking for it. I says, oh, they're not here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But but it's great. It's you know it's uh and especially on the Olympic piece of it. You know, you know all these folks that are training oh. so hard, right? Seriously, yeah. man. Seriously. Totally committed. You know, for maybe one or two spots, three spots, or something like that on right. the U.S. team. And then we get golf uh, in the middle of it. So we, we've been having a good time, you and I. No, no, I, there's absolutely. no. Doubt, man. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So, so we'll talk a little bit of market stuff out yes. here, um, and and really, do, so we're about to end the month of uh, June out here, and that really brings up again that that uh, unfavorable or favorable seasonal cycle, depending on where we're in. And the last time that we spoke, uh, you know, we were talking about how the Dow typically forms a summer low right around the June 25th uh, time frame. Yes. So these these this this set of chart or this chart right here, uh, these yellow vertical lines. And this is to, to just rip apart this the sell in May uh, theory or where we're at or what's transpired in the past. So these yellow lines represent the actual 
uh, May time period. So I know it's very it's it's very difficult to to see you know exactly where price is on these vertical lines. So what I've done here is I've gone ahead and created red horizontal lines that identify the high for May of each year. Now the cool thing, folks, we're just looking at the Dow. So those of you that have access to the Dow or maybe just the Dow Diamonds, you can do this same thing yourself just to try to understand the subtleties of the patterns that are out here. So the first thing that I would recommend if you're going to create this chart for yourself is go back and identify the high in May. This is a, a monthly chart, so it makes it very easy. But just simply identify those highs. And since 2003, we can go back as far as we want, but since 2003, when June closes above the May's high, and that's really referenced by these blue uh, arrows that we have out here. Okay. Uh, what we see, Tom, is we see the Dow continues to make its move even further higher. Uh, not, not, not great uh, grammar there, but it continues to move higher in the Dow. So uh, it's really important to understand, hey, where's the Dow going to close uh, in June? And so we've got two more trading days. So at the moment, the Dow is below that high. By the way, that high is at 35,091. Okay. Um, and so therefore, uh, we either have a consolidation inside the Dow or a further move lower might unfold. So let's try to rip that apart. Let's try to understand a little bit of what's taken place in the past. So in 2019, during the sell in May cycle, uh, the Dow actually topped with what I refer to as a Rhodes momentum indicator signal. Tom, this is a pattern that is, uh, is, uh, is present before. It, it helps identify both tops and bottoms. It's a pattern that I teach all subscribers. So those folks that are interested in learning this pattern, and you really should want to learn this pattern, uh, they've got access to a couple of uh, videos that I've got with their uh, subscription so they can test drive that for the next 30 days. So here in 2019, we see price moving higher, doing less relative energy, and we get this little gap to the downside where my uh, cursor's at. That's the first bearish reversal signal. This green and red line that's out there, I refer to that, that is the oscillator and change line. Really helpful in understanding uh, what a market is doing, whether it's moving higher or lower, whether it's just bouncing up into resistance. And we can see here on the entire move down, we saw price move up. So when this line changes color, Tom, from green to red or red to green, depending on what's going on, what we typically see is we see price and that line catch up to each other. And it's at that point in time where it really reveals its true intent. And we can see here, this is again going back into 2019, price makes its way up into that red line, rejects it, and continues to move lower. So this topped back in 2019 with the Rhodes momentum indicator top, and it bottomed with the Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. That was in 2019. Now, if we fast forward to where we're at this year, the Dow has formed a Rhodes momentum indicator top. It does that on May 10th. Again, price is moving higher. We get the bearish reversal candle. We actually had a gap to the downside. So it was that bearish reversal candle, the shooting star, that identified that top. So we've got our May sell in May top out there. The thing is, as I, we talked about or we showed, uh, we looked at on the uh, screen, the Dow typically forms some type of bottom. I don't know why there's no charts out there, uh, guys. Uh, I'm sure there will be. No, I, we, can TV. we can yeah, see it, Yeah, perfect. That. Okay, okay. So, but what the Dow did um, last week was it formed a, what I refer to as a TD nine count bottom, bar number nine, where we've got that blue arrow. So we have both a valid top now that ties into our sell in May, and we also have a valid bottom. So which one is correct? So the answer here is we've got to watch some of my tool. We've got to watch this oscillator and change line. If price just simply pulls back and tests this line and rejects it, then what price should do is get up and test the 34,737 level. If price tags that out, then it's going to go make a run for that all-time high out there. So we've got to watch. So, so folks, write this figure down on your pad of paper, 34,737. If the Dow closes above that, the probability is that price is going to make its way back to the all-time high. What it would be telling us is that that bottom is in place, and that bottom can take us higher, uh, Tom, into the uh, third week of July. So that's one possibility. The other possibility is price closes underneath that oscillator and change line, about where we're trading uh, right now, although I don't have an updated uh, chart out here. And if price does close below that green line, that says, okay, maybe we go back and we revisit the uh, low, that TD9 count. But if price takes out that low, we should see the Dow move down to the 32,681 level. So, you know, I'd like to be able to tell traders exactly what the Dow is going to do. Right now, this just tells us we have some areas that we have to watch because we have both the top and the bottom. We don't always get tops and bottoms during the sell in May time period. Back in uh, May of 2020, in this black square area, yeah. we, we, we did not get any of the signals that I looked for for a top or a bottom. In 2018, 
the same type of thing. So, we, you know, and, and the price went ahead and moved higher as soon as price took out those May highs. In 2017, there was no topping signal that formed. And the, these uh, rectangle areas or square areas, they're showing the entire trading days inside the uh, month of May out there. So we don't have that going on this year. This year, and so here's 2015, which actually did form a TD9 count top. Price moves lower. So we're back here in 2021. We've got both the topping pattern and the bottoming pattern. And folks, what that could really be signaling to us is that we just have a consolidating market which could last really coming uh, next couple months really into october yeah. so well it's going to be watch. interesting steve is that if that's a consolidation man the next leg up would be pretty good <laughs> be crazy. oh no yeah. oh, absolutely absolutely so you know i'd like to be able to provide something definitive and i do have something definitive both the top and the bottom and right now we're at midpoint so we just have to watch some of these really key levels and again 34 737 to the top so uh go lightning uh, enjoy the game. Oh, yeah. And uh, I, just it. Wish I, I just wish I were in Tampa to enjoy the series. You're going to love it. Well, listen, man, you have a great one, safe one, and we look forward to the show tomorrow. Thanks, Tom. Thank you, Steve. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors Tom O'Brien has just published his 1,000th Gold Report. It's amazing to think that Tom has been writing his weekly Gold Report for almost 20 years. To celebrate the 1,000th issue of Tom O'Brien's Gold Report, we've just launched a Tiger Dollar sale, which runs for two weeks only through July 4th weekend. We've doubled all the Tiger Dollar bonuses, where you can now get up to a 40% bonus on your purchase. But that's not all. Inflation is here, and the price of the Gold Report is going up after July 4th. Right now, you can lock in the Gold Report at the current pricing of $97 a month for as long as you remain a subscriber. This deal won't come around again. Get your Tiger Dollars today and apply them to the Gold Report before the price goes up on July 5th. Tiger Dollars never expire and are good for any TFNN newsletter or service as a great way to add savings. Head on over to the front page of TFNN.com for all the details and help us celebrate Tom O'Brien's 1,000th Gold Report. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down 181, Nasdaq's up a buck 35, S&P's are up six and a half. Let's go to what Mike in Mon Wyoming. Hey, Mike, what's going on, brother? Hey, that's too much, Tom. How you been? I'm, I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Doing awesome. Today's a beautiful day. That's that's a nice day to be alive. Uh, that that's a fact, man. <laughs> that is definitely a fact. So, hey, Tom, I was going to ask you about an entry point for 
Boeing Airlines, C-A. Okay. Let's take a look at it. So the low for Boeing is 141. The high is 278. Uh, right now, they're trading at 239. They didn't get great news over the weekend, that's for sure. Um, right. So you're, and what the great news wasn't, folks, is that the FAA, is, uh, is the bottom line is that they're saying that they, uh, they're not going to certify, uh, oh, this is interesting, uh, a jet, oh, let's say so, Boeing News 777 uh, won't get certified until 2023. So the bottom line is that they're still not getting enough information off Boeing. The FAA isn't. So what I would do here, I mean, I would let this get to the bottom of its consolidation, which is that 219, Mike. Um, okay. You know, and what happens here is this. You got to make sure that, you know, if in fact it gets down there, then you're looking for a rejection of that 219 area with lighter volume. You know, like right now, you can okay. see this is coming off the highs, uh, well, the last, last highs with volume today, 15.9 million. You know, so more than likely you're going to get down there. The swing point that it's going into only has 11.9. You know, so you're coming down with some volume. So it looks to me that more than likely what you're going to see is probably, you know, more news out of there that is not going to be great for Boeing. That's what it comes down to. Okay. Long time, hey, guess, you know, we know it's a good scene. But short term, you know, it's, well, short term for Boeing has been three or four years now. So. Right. Hey, can I ask you one more question about it? Absolutely. Uh, on the yearly, or no, on the daily chart, there's a big gap. Well, not a big gap, but there is a gap on the daily. I think it was like 2019. Okay. Do you do you think it could ever get close that gap? Oh, I see it. Ooh, yeah, I can. Yeah, it's dangerous. Yeah. So this is what ends up happening with something like that. So what 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 Mike's looking at, folks. Mike's isn't it? Okay. And it's a monster gap. It's 158 bucks. It was on uh, November 6th of uh, 2020. Um, yeah, that, that's always a problem, man. So uh, the, the cool thing is just remember where it is, Mike, okay? Um, okay. You know, uh, if it gets down to the swing point first, I wouldn't stop buying it if it rejected that lower price with lighter volume. But, you know, I, I would, that wouldn't stop me, that's for sure. Um, okay. That being said... You know, if you break that swing point, then it's like, okay, man, what else is going on here? Because that could be a big problem, right. child, man. You know, yeah. You, okay. Good move, man. All right. Thanks a lot, Tom. Have a great day. You have a great one. Have a safe one. And what I mean specifically by that good move, folks, is this, is that it's really important that you really understand a gaps in general. But that gap there is so large that if you're in an equity that has a gap, that gap, let's just see how many points it is. It's 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 a very large gap. It's let's see. So that gap is uh, 154, yeah, to 172. Um, when you have something like that, the bottom line is that uh, you just get to pay attention to swings as they come down. It doesn't, you know, I've just seen way too many unfilled. I mean, and, and bottom line. Pay attention to it. Some of the higher volume equities that we have out here. I'll tell you, the, the NDX 100, folks, okay, that thing, oh, that's what we want to do. Wait one second. I got to do this first. This is strong like bull because if we do get 33 million shares, and you know what? We're going to get it. This is going to be another ABC up. This is going to be bizarre, man. Okay, so your B point is 351. Your A point is 337. So what do we get? 11... Uh, 14, four, it's, that's 362. It's going to be an ABC up. It looks like it's going to do it. 362. Oh, this is going to be wild, man. And, yes, this would be the third ABC up in a row. When you get ABC structures inside ABCs, folks, okay, it's, it's powerful. And uh, it looks like it's going to happen because it's not going to be uh, hard for the accused to get uh, another 8 million shares here with a half hour left. <laughs> Wild. Let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here today. Uh, Virgin Galactic, uh, that's up 23 cents. That caught a big bid last week. Uh, AMC, the CEO, is going to be so happy he can't see straight. He just keeps pushing out paper. Um, you get a company trading at $57. That's worth 5 bucks. But guess what? It's $57, and they're buying the paper behind it. So it is what it is. 
Apple's up a buck sixty. You got uh, Viacom up two uh, thirteen. Let's get over to Apple. Apple's been a leg in the marketplace to stop moving again a few weeks ago. And Apple right now, well, there you go. So Apple uh, also, let's see. Apple might be able to do a small ABC up. Apple's going after a, a swing point of 137. I suspect it's going to hit the 137. And guess what? The way this is uh, shaking out here, it actually looks like Apple's actually going to go up to this uh, 145. So when you start looking at some of these, well, just Apple alone. I mean, for the... Uh, for the weighting structure inside the NDX 100, that's, that's enough to do another ABC structure on the way up. Unbelievable. Let's go to Google because Google has been relentless on the way up. Google sideways move out here today. Microsoft, which has put some juice behind that NDX. Microsoft's at a new all-time high. That's up 275. The king, Amazon. Let's see where Amazon is. Amazon was trading lower this morning, I believe. Amazon right now, you're up $45. Uh, that wants to hit a tie. That just missed the tie the last time that we were up here, folks, okay? Uh, bottom line is that it did have an expansion of volume when it got up there. So when you see an expansion of volume and you're going after highs, most times you go right after it again. Last time we got up to the price point of uh, 35.23. Bottom line, 35.54 is the high. You're going to see that uh, that's it, going to go after it. Uh, small caps, we take a look at the IWM, we take a look at that small cap market, small caps pulling back with light volume today. Small caps, one, two, three, four. It's hot. Small caps are a trip, man. Small caps actually have five hot, five tops, <laughs> okay? So you, you, never, you never hear of an aspect of a, a, a doubt, well, a, a five top, all right? Um, NDX, keep your eye on the NDX. The NDX are gonna bring, is, uh, is going to bring all of these markets into higher price folks that's the bottom line uh this is this is going to be this is this is a uh this is a bull run no doubt uh on top of that what it looks to me like that you have you have an inflation kicker that we have happening uh simultaneously what we don't even have yet is that you don't have the second part of uh probably the second third and fourth part of the stimulus money that was passed uh, over a month and a half ago uh, into the economy yet. And, you know, what that's going to do, folks, is just fire up prices even more. So we are going to be paying more for things. The real question is, can you stay ahead of the gap? That's how the, this whole deal is going to be. Can you stay ahead of it? Dow Industrials right now down 169. NASDAQ's up 136. S&Ps are up 7.5. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. 
Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down 162. You get the Nasdaq up 134. S&Ps are up 7.5. Our guest today, folks, is Brent Lieberman. Brent is the founding principal at Leveland Partners and head of BLE, BLRE Ventures. Um, uh, Brent actually just uh, did a nice transaction in the Arts District in St. Petersburg, Florida. They just bought a couple parcels at a good old $5 million inside the Warehouse Arts District. Brent, welcome to TFNN. Thank you very much, Tom. Appreciate it. Absolutely. So, uh, first off, welcome to St. Pete. Um, Thank you. And uh, you're going you're gonna to love this city. Hey, first off, what, what made you... Now, where are you, you guys are located in Ohio. Is that where you are? Based in Cleveland, Ohio, correct. Cleveland, okay, uh, cool. But our, yeah, but our portfolio expands beyond Cleveland here throughout Ohio, and uh, a good portion of our assets happen to be in Florida. It is. No, I was looking at your website. It's, it's very impressive. So tell Thank us you. tell us about the transaction in the Warehouse Arts District and tell us what, you, what you'd like to do with it. Sure. So uh, we've branded the project Seaboard Crossing. Okay. Uh, it's a four-building, uh, approximate 50,000-square-foot uh, mixed-use industrial complex. Uh, currently, we have three tenants in place. One is uh, a local well-known company, Pocket Store Fixtures. Sure. Uh, we have a production and printing company in there, as well as uh, on the corner of Fifth Half South and 25th Street, the Chelsea St. Pete, which is a very unique coffee shop that I highly recommend. The coffee's great. So on your morning commute or afternoon, uh, definitely check it out. But Long-term plan is to redevelop the project into a mixed-use, uh, really destination-anchored location for the Warehouse Arts District. And the tenants that we're seeking um, could be as small as 1,500 square feet up to about 12,000 square feet. And really, they would fit within the IT or industrial zoning uh, that is present in the Warehouse Arts District. But really what it allows uh, is complementary uses or complementary businesses to those that are in the surrounding uh, properties in the Warehouse Arts District. So anything from the creatives and the arts uh, to the brewery, brewery and distillation uh, businesses, the culinary, uh, we're really seeing a wide variety of tenants take interest and we're really excited about the prospects that we have. Yes. Yeah. And so let's talk, and what happens folks is this, is that just, just if you're not in the real estate business, uh, this is just quick down and dirty, folks, okay? The bottom line is if you're IT, normally you can't build apartments, okay? But what's happening in St. Pete is on 22nd, they want to change the zoning, and that's what my question would be for you, Brent. So sure. it, it would be cool if they changed the zoning also, right? Would that be correct? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, our, our long-term vision is uh, to maintain the general aesthetic where you have uh, retailers and industrial users alike kind of come together and appreciate the uh, architecture of an industrial uh, warehouse use. But 
In the surrounding parcels, you know, I think the long-term vision is yes, we would love to have the, uh, the zoning change for mixed use residential um, where we can kind of serve as that commercial element uh, to, the, to the warehouse arts district inevitably as uh, residential and multifamily continue to grow and expand there. Right, and the odds of this folks, okay, go up pretty dramatically. I'm gonna tell you a funny story, man. Right, I, 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 my playground is right across the street from you. I build a lot of houses in Palmetto Park, okay? I noticed, yes. You know what's crazy? Listen to this, man. So what happened, folks, is that I was taking down so many trees that I put the trees on the parcel right across from your coffee shop, right? That, that you're talking okay. about, that's, that's my parcels. And what happened, yeah. folks, is the city came and the city said, you can't do this. I says, you know what? I can do this, but you've got to change the zoning. I says, because that's the last parcel. I put the white fence around it now, but that's the last parcel of industrial. They, the yeah. inspector looked at me, Brent says, oh, I don't believe this. I says, yeah. I says, that's why I want to change the zoning, but pretty wild. Hey, yeah, so what, when I'm looking at your website, man, you got a, you got a lot of um, activity in both the residential and the industrial. So it, it'd it be really cool, man. I, I can understand how you want to mesh this, right? Yeah, that's right. I mean, we find ourselves in a variety of asset classes, just like you mentioned. We own everything from apartments to uh, retail strip centers to industrial warehouses that we both acquire and or develop. Um, so, yeah, our, our long-term vision uh, is to continue to expand both in St. Pete and the surrounding Tampa MSA uh, and really uh, as a, situ a special situation buyer um, just like this where we can kind of come in, provide our expertise and value add uh, and really benefit both the project but also the surrounding area as it's very important to us to kind of mesh and continue the efforts that others have, uh, you know, nearby. And, and, you know, it's really great, and I appreciate you coming on. For all our listeners across the country, how, you know, number one, like, what made you come to St. Pete, and then how do you put something together like this, Brent? Yeah, sure. Well, St. Pete, I think we love the, we've loved the potential for really years. It's taken us about three years to even enter the market. Okay. Um, it's, it's a high barrier to entry market, but uh, finally we were able to get a, a deal done here at Seaboard Crossing. And, you know, why we like it. I, I think the, the growth trajectory is, is fantastic. Um, you're seeing a lot of unique companies come to not only the Warehouse Arts District, but um, through downtown and moving west into the Grand Central. We really like the growth pattern there. And then with the exciting news about Tropicana Field, we think, you know, uh, very long term, probably 10 plus years, uh, we think our portion of, of where we acquired will be very attractive. Um, and so, yeah, from a long-term investment perspective, which is the capital that we use to fund this project, um, you know, we see it being a collective benefit for everyone involved. Yeah, well, there's yeah. no oh, doubt. Yeah. Well, well, listen, congratulations. Uh, I, I, there, there's no doubt. You get a great piece of property. Uh, and Thank it's you. great to see someone like yourself come in there because the, the bottom line, uh, when you see, you just Google the Warehouse Arts District, folks, you'll see that the, the parcels that... Uh, Brent has just got hold of their beautiful parcels, and it just takes creativity and, you know, bottom line, some imagination, which I can see from your website, uh, the projects they've done, that you can uh, basically uh, get that baby growing. Uh, so, yeah, you know. thank you. And we're, we're excited, and just in a few weeks, we'll be able to release some preliminary renderings for what we uh, envision for the site. So, um, you know, please stay tuned as uh, we'll, we'll put them up on our website and elsewhere throughout St. Pete. And we will get a link on our site, man. I Listen, Brent, you. you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to having you on again. Give us an update, okay? Perfect. Thank you very much. Thanks, Appreciate man. your time. Have a great one. Have a safe one. And this is a beautiful project, folks. Um, bottom line, what's so intriguing, I mean, you saw how young that guy is, okay? Pretty cool, man. The bottom line, you come in, you change the town. Um, he's, he's, got a, he's got a great spot there. There's no doubt about it. Market-wise out here, what we have, we have the Dow Industrials right now down 164, Nasdaq's up 126, S&Ps are up 6, and the composite looks like uh, we were just uh, just about finishing up that ABC structure in the composite, and we're, we're 14,000, <laughs> look at this, 14,530, so we're 30 bucks away from finishing it. Um, that being said, though, uh, when you do look at the three Qs, the bottom line is that the three Qs looks like, looks like they're going to do an additional ABC structure on the way up, which, you know, it's going to do it, man. What a way to kick into July 4th. This is going to be unbelievable, man. The bottom line is that we need 33.5 million 
You get 31.1 million, 10 minutes, we're gonna do it. You got an a another ABC structure up, and uh, that's another 10 points higher inside the S&P, I mean, inside the Dow Industrials. That's saying that the S&P, it's gonna drag the S&P up too, by the way, folks. Stay right there, C coming right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave. Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty and amino acids in an easy to use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air and water, without them life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at tfnn.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 142. We get the NASDAQ up 141. S&Ps are up 9.5. And, .5. and uh, you know, bottom line, folks, is that, uh, you know, the, the grains have been getting smoked on the way down. Uh, until today, and now you got a weather market again. And you had corn up five percent. You got uh, let's see, soybeans are up three point two. You get sugar up one point three. You get wheat up one point three. Uh, bottom line, I expect you're going to see these things that continue to go higher because they are getting burnt up on a monster way uh, out west here. So I don't think those things are that's going to be uh, changing uh, anytime soon. Uh, I'd say the biggest deal out here today, kicking into um, <laughs> the uh, the 4th of July, folks, and, and uh, window dressing of these queues, okay? This is something else, man. Uh, let me tell you, I've seen some good markets, but this here, uh, it, w w the thing that's wild about this, right, is that it's, and I can't stand it when I even say this, it's so clear that this thing wants another leg. Um, it's just broken. It's just broken the swing point, has, has the volume behind, behind the deal. 
I'm going with it, man. The bottom line is that when you do it, when you have ABC structures on the way up or the way down, folks, uh, particularly what we've just did, we had one ABC ins inside of another. Now we get another one. That's an ABC structure market. When you have an ABC structure market, they keep going until they don't. Bottom line, that's saying 363 coming at us inside of the at the three Qs. Pretty pretty amazing, man. That's that is one monster number. Ten ten bucks. And you got to remember something that they are straight line moves. So when we're talking a straight line move, ten points inside the NQs, um, you know that could that could finish off uh, kicking right in the, this week. That's the bottom line. We really only have. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, yeah, Thursday. Friday, people will take off. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Thanks for being here, folks. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Come back and visit us tomorrow. Please tell your friends to go to YouTube, search TFNN. Come visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Great show, 9 o'clock. Go get them, folks. Building wealth trading in the stock market.